Okay, man. And welcome to possibly the last story character island park. And this time, I guess it's gonna be Mona. I'll tell you. Everyone, over here. Is everyone awake now? Mona says that she has something important to tell everyone. The first glimmering daybreak after the return of the Imanakreish most certainly revitalizes one's innermost spirits. What Main Fräulein means is that she is ready to take on the next challenge. Yeah, we're rested and ready too! Alright, then I'll get to the crux of the matter. I just peeked into my scry glass and... There's a new mirage forming on that island over there. And I have a feeling that this one is my mirage. Oh, so now it's Mona's turn. You were with us for all of ours. Seems like it's time for us to go with you into yours. Uh, well, I'm sure there's nothing to see, really. Lady Magistus, are you embarrassed? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's not like I'm worried about everyone judging me after seeing my embarrassingly pathetic mirage or anything. This emphatic no sounds rather like a thinly disguised yes. Well, <clears throat> astrologists are often regarded as something out of this world, right? But what if my mirage is nothing like that? Fret not. Your princessin is not so foolish as to entertain preconceived notions on how thy mirage should or should not present itself. Yeah, me neither. Not that I have low expectations of you, Mona, but personally, I think you're a kind soul, and you shouldn't feel like you have to live up to anything more than that. I'm sure Mona's mirage will stay true to her kind heart. going in there just to do some sightseeing. There's other reasons too, right? Really? Well, okay then. I suppose I'm not worried as long as everyone doesn't get too excited. All right then, let's get going. According to my scry glass, we've arrived at the Mirage. Okay, let's find the entrance first. Is that it? Over there? Huh. This looks like some kind of pool. Do we have a non-swimmer among us? No, I don't think that's the real problem here. <laughs> Someone's scared, huh? Well then, I'll go first. Oh, and there she goes! She's gonna show off her oh-so-perfect swimming skills now! <clears throat> Please, be mindful of your wording, main Fräulein. Oh, right. See you later! Wow, fancy. What a spectacular structure. Wow. I've never seen anything. 
anything like this. Hey, uh, Mona, your mirage is amazing. Though it falls short of the glorious Imanakreish, one must admit that it is an impressive realm nonetheless, Lady Magistus. <sighs> At least it's not showing me getting lectured by the old hag. Thank goodness. Well, what else would you expect of a genius astrologist's mirage? Okay, let's get started. I'm kind of curious, is Mana Master gonna be some kind of NPC in the future? Because, from, if I remember correct, she is actually from Fontaine, how is name. She's not from Monster. I've always been very proud of my talent in astrology. Huh? What in the... Is that my voice? I believe that astrology is a valuable discipline and that it is capable of revealing the inner workings of this universe. Oh, that's me talking to myself. When people discovered I could perform divination, they began to bombard me with inquiries. When is my missing son going to be found? Do they love me or not? Will I ever recover? Being the honest person I am, I told them exactly what I saw through the scry glass. may bring about resentment, I... I couldn't lie in the face of such a noble art. Astrology is a scam. That's insane. Can you please leave me alone now? I need some space. felt as if I was being stabbed with razor-sharp knives formed oh. by their disappointment. Oh, oh, oh. I could see the future, yet I felt miserable, as if I'd fallen into an abyss. Wait, I need to avoid? Oh, I need to avoid. Oops. Lady Magistus, this is heartbreaking. Ugh, please don't try to comfort me. It'll only make me feel embarrassed. 
come on. You don't need to pretend in front of us. You need a hug. Oh, n no. <laughs> that was really how I felt back when I first started out in astrology, but... I've matured now. I'm no longer so easily swayed by random people's opinions. Who would have thought? Even Magistus, the court archmage, was not spared of vexatious times in her career. It must have been difficult to be misunderstood by others. I'm glad that you were able to move past that. Actually, there are many who have given up astrology due to similar circumstances. But I am a genius, so it's only fair that I'm able to accomplish what others cannot. It's pretty inspiring to hear you say all that in an amazing place like this. Yes, good. Keep going. <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt, but the door is that way. All right. Now I'll let you shower me with praise after all the mysteries are solved. The surroundings appear to have changed. This isn't the beach we originally left. The area appears to be the mountains of Mondstadt. Wait, have we been sent back to Mondstadt? Yet the boundless ocean still surrounds us. There should be another pool around here for us to enter. Over here, y'all! Why isn't it letting us enter? Oh, something seems to be floating on the water there. Uh, is it a painting? Or what is it? It seems to be hinting at a specific place. It is anticipating that the princess would guide her loyal followers to the location that has been chosen by fate. Why is it always you that has to take the lead? <sighs> Whatever, doesn't matter. Let's just find this place first. Astrology reveals the truth unreservedly, but not everyone is willing to accept their fate. No matter. Running into difficulties is part of practicing the craft. I must also become stronger myself in order to convince people. I once met an adventurer on a mountain who also happened to be picking fruits. He was even kind enough to share some with me, so in return... I agreed to perform a divination for him. The results were terrifying. I advised him to give up adventuring as soon as... He fell silent for a while. Surprisingly, he didn't doubt the results of my divination like others had. But he looked quite perplexed. Even so, I have to keep going. Adventurers can't just give up in the face of hardship. With that, he picked up his pack and headed for the peak.
However, try as I might, I could never forget that incident. Why is that? Adventurer dead now? <sighs> that was the only time I ever saw him. And that was more than three years ago, which means he's no longer alive. But isn't there still a chance that he's alive? You know, like maybe you just made a mistake. You can't call it divination if you reject anything bad and believe the good unreservedly. That's just self-deception. Of course, casually performing divination for fun might be a different matter, but in my field of expertise, there's no room for lies. To contradict my own reading would be a blasphemy against astrology. Cruel, but truthful. Such is fate. I don't usually say things like this, but while we're on the topic, I really hope you don't confuse astrology with those fortune stick peddlers that you see along the streets. Astrology does not exist to please. We astrologists are here to verify and witness the truths of this world. Ugh. Which is why astrology is a disdained profession. It is a mighty art, but unfortunately one that annoys people nonetheless. Why dost thou protest so much, Lady Magistus? Thou seems not to be the sort with whom one would be loath to be associated. What main Fräulein means is that she's glad to be friends with you. No, that's not exactly what I said. Whatever has gotten into you, Oz, you misinterpret my utterances with increasingly alarming frequency. Oh my, why could that be? Perhaps I have been concerned that Main Fräulein could offend her friends and have been attempting to soften her words. Although you're the only astrologist I know, you've left an awesome impression on me. You're not annoying at all. Those who go snooping around for secrets yet ignore whatever they don't want to hear, they're the ones who should reflect on themselves. Knowing your fate doesn't come cheap. If one could simply avoid fate with just a few words, no one would have to endure the pain of parting. Mona, don't take others' comments to heart. Follow your heart and never forget what's right. Oh, I don't need comforting, thank you very much. I'm very tough, you know. Years ahead. What phrase is this? Oh, uh. Well then, um. Now that I kind of look at the use there, I'm now kind of odd looking because, yeah, this is a anime looking uh, anime, but the ears. Now that I look at it, they're kind of weird now. How detailed they are, like. I don't know, it's kind of an uncanny valley, in a way. <sighs> Thank you. What dost thou say? Speak up and offer your highest reverence and blessings to the princessin. Okay, okay, your highness. Instead of making a scene, why don't you go collect the other fragments in the new location reflected by the pool? We can't enter the mirage without them. Main Fräulein, you are the only one with eyes sharp enough to locate the secrets. <sighs> if that's the case, very well. I shall proceed to the beach. Let's go, Mona. Oh, okay. Coming! <laughs> Huh. 
we've returned here once more. Looks like the story's not finished yet. Let the adventure continue. by the water, but didn't go in. Seems almost like it's waiting for something. Whoa. Okay. I soon not the jump. 